Good morning, folks. Hello, family. This is Raymond X, the Prophet again. Coming to you live from my apartment bedroom here in Sunny Ocala, Florida. Today is August 20th, on a Thursday, 2020, 8.51 a.m. This is the Word for Day, Part 1, for May 6, 2020. Once again, the Word for Day, Part 1. May 6, 2020. Let's go ahead and get started with the Word today. The first little intro I have for you at May 5th. 2020 at 80 a.m. sharp. I have a Bible app on my cell phone. And the book and Bible verse is this. The book of Judges, chapter 9, verse 9. The trees once went forth to anoint a king over them. And they said to the others, Olive tree, reign over us. Exodus chapter 29, verses 2 and 7. And unleavened bread, unleavened cakes baked with oil, and unleavened wafers, anointed with oil, you shall make them of wheat flour. And you shall take the anointing oil, pour on his head, and anoint him. Exodus 35, verse 14. Also the lampstand for the light, its utensils, its lamps, and the oil for the light. The book of Leviticus, chapter 2, verse 1. When anyone offers a grain offering to the Lord, his offering shall be a fine flour. And he shall pour oil on it and put frankincense on it. Once again, the book of Judges, chapter 9, verses 8 and 10, the cross references. All three verses. The tree once went forth to anoint a king over them, and it said to the other olive tree, Reign over us. But the olive tree said to them, Should I cease giving my oil, with which they honor God and men, and go to sway over trees? Then the tree said to the fig tree, You come and reign over us. Job chapter 1 verse 7 And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? So Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking back and forth on it. Job chapter 2 verse 2 And the Lord said to Satan, From where do you come? Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking back and forth on it. An extra entry, 12.19 p.m. May 5, 2020. For they are a stiff necked people, a rebellious house, Jehovah. For they are a stiff necked people, a rebellious house, Jehovah. Exodus chapter 32, verse 9. And the Lord said to Moses, I have seen this people, and indeed it is a stiff necked people. Exodus chapter 33, verses 3 and 5. Go to a land flowing with milk and honey, for when I go up in your midst, lest I consume you on the way, for you are a stiff-necked people. For the Lord had said to Moses, Say to the children of Israel, You are a stiff-necked people. I could come up into your midst in one moment and consume you. Now therefore take off your ornaments, that I may know what to do to you. Exodus chapter 34, verse 9. Then he said, If thou have found grace in your sight, O Lord, let my Lord, I pray, go among us, even though we are stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us as your inheritance. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 41. And that I have also walked contrary to them, and have brought them into the hand, land of their enemies, yet their uncircumcised hearts are humbled, and they accept their guilt. Deuteronomy chapter 9, verses 6 and 13. Therefore understand the Lord your God is not giving you this good land to possess because of your righteousness, for you are a stiff-necked people. Furthermore, the Lord spoke to me, saying, I have seen this people, and indeed they are a stiff-necked people. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 16. Therefore, circumcise the foreskin of your heart, and be stiff-necked no longer. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 6. And the Lord your God will circumcise your heart and the heart of your descendants to love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, that you may live. Deuteronomy chapter 31, verse 27. For I know your rebellion and your stiff neck. If today, while I am yet alive with you, you have been rebellious against the Lord, then how much more after my death? Second Chronicles chapter 30, verse 8. Now do not be stiff-necked as your fathers were, but yield yourselves to the Lord, and enter his sanctuary, which he has sanctified forever, 
and serve the Lord your God, that the fierceness of his wrath may turn away from you. Nehemiah chapter 9, verses 16 and 30. But they and our fathers acted proudly, hardened their necks, and did not heed your commandments. Yet for many years you had patience with them, and testified against them by your spirit and your prophets. Yet they would not listen. Therefore you gave them to the hand of the peoples of the lands. Psalm 75, verse 5. Do not lift up your horn on high. Do not speak with a stiff neck. Psalm 78, verse 8. And may not be like their fathers, a stubborn and rebellious generation, a generation that did not set its heart aright, and whose spirit was not faithful to God. Isaiah chapter 48, verse 4. Because I knew that you were obstinate, and your neck was an iron sinew, and your brow bronze. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 10. But they rebelled and grieved his Holy Spirit, so he turned himself against them as an enemy, and he fought against them. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 4. Circumcise yourself to the Lord, and take away the foreskins of your hearts, you men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire, and burn so that no one can quench it, because of the evil of your doings. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 10. To whom shall I speak and give warning, that they may hear? Indeed their ear is uncircumcised, and they cannot give heed. Behold, the word of the Lord is a reproach to them. They have no delight in it. Jeremiah chapter 9, verses 25 and 26. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will punish all who are circumcised. With the uncircumcised, Egypt, Judah, Edom, the people of Ammon, Moab, and all who are in the farthest corners, who dwell in the wilderness, for all these nations are uncircumcised, and all the house of Israel are uncircumcised in the heart. An external entry, May 5, 2020, at 12.57 p.m. The Bible is your owner's manual. The Bible is your owner's manual. Psalm 32, verse 8. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will guide you with my eye. Psalm 12, verse 1. Help, Lord, for the godly man ceases, for the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. Psalm 19, verse 20. Okay, that's narrow my part. There is no Psalm 19, verse 20. I'll correct that later on, though. Let's move on to Psalm 31, verse 26. So Psalm 31, verse 26. Okay, I'm going to have to correct that error, too. Okay, when I get a chance, I want to correct both these errors in the description box below. Let's go ahead and go to Psalm 119, verses 1 through 176. This is a bit lengthy, so just kind of hang in there with me. Meditations on the excellencies of the Word of God. Aleph. Blessed are the undefiled in the way, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep His testimonies, who seek Him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in His ways. You have commanded us to keep your precepts diligently. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep your statutes. Then I would not be ashamed when I look at all your commandments. I will praise you with the uprightness of heart. When I learn your righteous judgments, I will keep your statutes. Oh, do not forsake me utterly. Beth. How can a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. With my whole heart I have sought you. Oh, let me not wander from your commandments. Your word I have hid in my heart. I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the judgments of, my, of your mouth. I rejoice in the way of your testimonies. As much as all riches, I will meditate on your precepts, and will contemplate your ways. I will light, my way, delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Gimel. Deal bountifully with your servant, and may live and keep your word. Open my eyes, that I might see. Wondrous things from your law. I am a stranger in the earth. Do not hide your commandments from me. My soul breaks with longing for your judgments at all times. You rebuke the proud, the cursed, you stray from your commandments. Remove, remove from me reproach and contempt, for I kept your testimonies. The prince also sit and speak against me, but your servant meditates on your statutes. 
and your testimonies are also my delight and my counselors. The left. My soul clings to the dust. Receive, revive me according to your word. I declare my ways and your ancient me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts. So shall I meditate on your wonderful works. My soul melts from heaviness. Strengthen me according to your word. Remove me from the way of lying and grant me your law graciously. I have chosen the way of truth. Your judgments have I laid before me. I cling to your testimonies. O Lord, do not put me to shame. I will run the course of your commandments, for you shall enlarge my heart. He, teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep your law. Indeed, I shall observe it with my whole heart. Make me walk in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies, and not to covetousness. Turn away my eyes from looking at worthless things, and revive me in your way. Establish your word to your servant, who is devoted to fearing you. Turn away my reproach, which I dread. For your judgments are good. Behold, I long for your precepts. Provide me in your righteousness. Wah! Wow. Let your mercies come also to me, O Lord. Your salvation according to your word. So shall I have an answer for him who reproaches me. For I trust in your word, and take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth. For I hope in your ordinances, so shall I keep your law continually, forever and ever. And I will walk at liberty, for I seek your precepts. I will speak of your testimonies also before kings, and will not be ashamed. And I will delight myself in your commandments, which I love. My hands also lift up to your commandments, which I love. And I will meditate on your statutes. Zayin. Remember the word to your servant, upon which you caused me to hope. This is my comfort and my affliction, for your word has given me life. The proud have me in great derision, yet I do not turn aside from your law. I remember your judgments of old, O Lord, and confirm to comfort myself. Indignation has taken hold of me, because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my pilgrimage. I remember your name in the night, O Lord, and I keep your law. This has become mine, because I kept your precepts. Heth. You are my portion, O Lord. I have said I would keep your words. I entreated your favor with my whole heart. Be merciful to me according to your word. I thought about my ways and turned my feet to your testimonies. I made haste and did not delay to keep your commandments. The cords of the wicked have bound me, but I have not forgotten your law. At midnight I will rise to give thanks to you because of your righteous judgments. I am a companion of all who fear you and of those who keep your precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full of your mercy. Teach me your statutes. Teth. You have dealt well with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray. But now I keep your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The proud have forced a lie against me. I will keep your precepts with my whole heart. Their heart is as fat as grease. But I delight in your law. It is good for me that I have been afflicted. That I may learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of coins of gold and silver. Yah. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me understanding I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you will be glad when they see me. Because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your judgments are right. And that in faithless you have afflicted me. Let I pray your merciful kindness be for my comfort. According to your word, to your servant, let your tender mercies come to me that I may live. For your law is my delight. Let the proud be ashamed, for they treat me wrongfully with falsehood. But I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me, those who know your testimonies. Let my heart be blameless regarding your statutes, that I may not be ashamed. Calf. My soul faints for your salvation, but I hope in your word. My eyes fail from searching your word, saying, When do you comfort me? For I become like a wineskin in smoke, yet I do not forget your statutes. How many of the days of your servant, when you execute judgment on those who persecute me? The proud have dug a pit for me, which is not according to your law. All your commandments are faithful. They persecute me wrongfully. Help me. They almost made an end of me on earth. But not that forsake precepts, 
Revive me according to your loving kindness, so I may keep the testimony of your mouth. Amen. Forever, O Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You establish the earth and abides. They continue this day according to your ordinances. For all are your servants. Unless your law had been my delight, I would have then perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours, save me. For I sought your precepts, the wicked wait for me to destroy me. But I will consider your testimonies. I have seen the consummation of all perfection, but your commandment is exceeding be broad. Amen. Oh, how I love your law it is my meditation all the day. You, through your commandments, make me wiser than my enemies, for they are ever with me. I am more understanding than all my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the ancients because I keep your precepts. I have restrained my feet from every evil way. I may keep your word. I have not departed from your judgments, for you yourself have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. None. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and confirmed that I will keep your righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Accept, I pray, the freewill offerings of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me your judgments. My life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have not strayed from your precepts. Your testimonies I have taken as a heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I am inclined my heart to perform your statutes forever to the very end. Samek. I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word. Depart from me, you evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your word, that I may live. Do not let me be ashamed of my hope. Hold me up, and I shall be safe, and I shall observe your statutes continually. You reject all those who stray from your statutes, for their deceit is falsehood. You put away all the wicked of the earth, like dross. Therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh temples for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. Ayen. I have done justice and righteousness. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Be surety for your servant for good. Do not let the proud oppress me. My eyes fail from seeking your salvation in your righteous word. Deal with your servant according to your mercy, and teach me your statutes. I am your servant, give me understanding, that I may know your testimonies. It is time for you to act, O Lord, for they have regarded your law as void. Therefore I love your commandments, more than gold, yes, than fine gold. Therefore all your precepts concerning all things. I consider to be right. I hate every false way. P. Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. The entrance of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant it, for I long for your commandments. Look upon me and be merciful to me, as your custom is toward those who love your name. Direct my steps by your word, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Redeem me from the oppression of man. Let me keep your precepts, make your face shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. Rivers of water run down from my eyes, because men do not keep your law. Side A. Righteous are you, O Lord, and upright are your judgments. Your testimonies, which you have commanded, are righteous and very faithful. My zeal has consumed me because my enemies have forgotten your words. Your word is very pure, therefore your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precepts. Your righteousness is everlasting righteousness. Your law is truth. Trouble and anguish have overtaken me, yet your commandments are my delight. The righteousness of your testimonies is everlasting. Give me understanding, and I shall live. Quaff. I cried out with my whole heart, Hear me, O Lord. I will keep your statutes, I cry out to you. Save me, and I will keep your testimonies. I rise before the dawning of the morning. And cry for help, I hope in your word. My eyes are awake throughout the night, watches. I may meditate on your word, that I hear my voice according to your loving kindness. O Lord, revive me according to your justice. They draw near who follow after wickedness. They are far from your law. You are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are truth. 
concerning your testimonies. I have known of all that you have founded them forever. Resh. Consider my affliction, deliver me, but not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Provide me according to your word. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they not seek your statutes. Grace, greater your mercy, tender mercies, O Lord. Provide me according to your judgments. Many are my persecutors and my enemies, yet I do not turn from your testimonies. I see the treacherous and am disgusted, because I keep your word. Consider how I love your precepts. Provide me, O Lord, according to your loving kindness. The entirety of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous judgments endures forever. Shin. Princes persecute me without a cause. Though my heart stands in awe of your word, I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. I hate and abhor lie, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you because of your righteous judgments. Great peace of those who love your law, and nothing causes them to stumble. Lord, I hope for your salvation. And I do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies. And I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and your testimonies. For all my ways are before you. Tau. Let my cry come before you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your word. My lips shall utter praise. For you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall speak of your word. For all your commandments are righteousness. Let your hand be become my help. For I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord. And your law is my delight. Let my soul live, and it shall praise you. And let your judgments help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, for, not, for I do not forget your commandments. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 13. Take from home instruction. Do not let go. Keep her, for she is your life. That is wisdom. Proverbs chapter 8, verses 32 through 36. Now therefore listen to me, my children. For blessed are those who keep my ways, hear instruction, and be wise. And you do not disdain it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the post for my doors. Forever finds me, finds life, and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who sins against me wrongs his own soul. All those who hate me love death. Proverbs chapter 10, verses 8 and 17. The wise in heart will receive commands, but a proudling fool will fall. He who keeps instructions in the way of life, but he who refuses correction goes astray. Okay, I think I got this figured out. This is Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1, not Psalm 12, 1. So Proverbs chapter 12, verse 1. Whoever loves instruction loves knowledge, but he who hates correction is stupid. Proverbs chapter 19, verse 20. Listen to counsel and receive instruction that you may be wise in your latter days. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 26. She opens her mouth with wisdom, and on her tongue is a law of kindness. The Gospel of John, chapter 2, verses 1 through 12. Water turned to wine. On the third day there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. Now both Jesus and the disciples were invited to the wedding. And when they ran out of wine, the mother of Jesus said to him, They have no wine. Jesus said to her, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. His mother said to his servants, Whatever he says, you do it. Now there was set there six water pots of stone according to the manner of purification of the Jews, containing twenty or thirty gallons apiece. Jesus said to them, Fill the water pots with water, and they filled them up to the brim. He said to them, Draw some out now, and take it to the master of the feast, and they took it. When the master of the feast had tasted the water and was made wine, and did not know where it came from, but the servants who had drawn the water knew, the master of the feast called the bridegroom, and he said to him, Every man at the beginning sets out the good wine, and when the guests have well drunk, then the inferior, you have kept the good wine until now. This beginning of signs Jesus did in Cana, of Galilee and manifested his glory, and his disciples believed in him. After this he went down to Capernaum, he, his mother, his brothers, and his disciples, and they did not stay there many days. John chapter 14, verse 26. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, 
He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Acts chapter 4 verse 12 Nor is there salvation in either in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 Do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? An external entry, May 5, 2020, at 1.48 p.m. I am the God of everything. There is no other besides me, Jehovah. I am the God of everything. There is no other God besides me. And this is Jehovah speaking. The book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 1 and 14. In the beginning God created the heaven. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Then God said, Let there be lights in the firmness of the heavens, divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Psalm 19, verses 1 through 14. The perfect revelation of the Lord. To the chief physician, a psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament shows his handiwork. Day into day utter speech, and night into night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line has gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tabernacle for the sun, which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoices like a strong man to run its race. Its rising is from one end of heaven, and its circuit to the other end, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise and simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned. And in keeping them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me, and I shall be blameless, and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the mediation of my heart, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Psalm 33, verse 6. By the word of the Lord the heavens were made, and all the hosts of them by the breath of his mouth. Psalm 102, verse 27. For you are the same, and your years will have no end. Psalm 104, verse 30. You send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the earth. Psalm 136, verse 7. To him who made great lights, for his mercy endures forever. Psalm 148, verse 5. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded and they were created. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 12. I have made the earth and created man on it. I, my hands, stretch out the heavens, and all their hosts I have commanded. The book of Daniel chapter 2, verse 22. He reveals deep and secret things. He knows what is in the darkness, and light dwells with him. Malachi chapter 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I do not change. Therefore you are not consumed, O sons of Jacob. The Gospel of Matthew chapter 7, verse 11. If you then, being evil, know how to give, give, to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? The Gospel of John chapter 3. Verses 3 and 27. Jesus answered and said to him, Most assuredly I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven. John chapter 15, verses 5 through 7. Key verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. 
He who abides in me, and I in him, bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered, and they gather them and throw them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, you will ask, and what you desire, and it shall be done for you. Acts chapter 17, verses 24 and 28. God, who made the world, and everything in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands. For in him we live, and move, and have our being, as also some of your own poets have said. For we are also his offspring. Okay, folks and family, the Spotify worship song I have for you is a good one. This is City Point Live with the song Mover of Mountains, the live version. So the Mover of Mountains live version by City Point Live, and I'll post a link for that in the description, description box below, as well as the YouTube video link you see listed right here. The next show entry, May 5th, 2020, 5, 11 p.m. Devoid of understanding. Devoid of understanding. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 28. For they are a nation of void counsel, nor is there understanding in them. Job chapter 11, verse 12. For an empty-headed man will be wise, when a wild donkey's colt is born a man. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 32. Whoever commits adultery with a woman lacks understanding. He who does so destroys his own soul. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 7. And I saw among the simple, I perceived among the youths, a young man devoid of understanding. Proverbs chapter 9, verses 4 and 16. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. As for him who lacks understanding, she says to him, Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. And as for him who lacks understanding, she says to him. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 13. Wisdom is found on the lips of him who has understanding, but a rod is for the back of him who is devoid of understanding. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 11. He who tills his land will be satisfied with bread, but he who follows frivolity is devoid of understanding. Proverbs chapter 17, verses 18 through 28, key verse 18. A man devoid of understanding shakes hands of the pledge and becomes surety for his friend. He loves transgression, loves strife, and he who exalts his gate seeks destruction. He who has a deceitful heart finds no good, and he who has a perverse tongue falls into evil. He who begets a scoffer does so to his sorrow, and the father of a fool has no joy. A merry heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit dries the bones. A wicked man accepts a bribe behind the back to pervert the ways of justice. Wisdom is in the sight of him who has understanding, but the eyes of a fool are on the ends of the earth. A fool's son is a grief to his father, and bitterness to her who bore him. Also to punish the righteous is not good, nor to strike princes for their uprightness. He who has knowledge spares his words. And a man of understanding is of a calm spirit. Even a fool is counted wise when he holds his peace. When he shuts his lips, he is considered perceptive. Proverbs chapter 24, verses 1 through 34, key verse 30. Do not be envious of evil. Do not be envious of evil men. Do not be envious of evil men, nor desire to be with them, for their heart devises violence, and their lips talk of troublemaking. Through wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established. By knowledge the rooms are filled of all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is strong. Yes, a man of knowledge increases strength. But by his wise counsel you will wage your own war. And in the multitude of counselors there is safety. Wisdom is too lofty for a fool. He does not open his mouth in the gate. He who plots to do evil will be called a schemer. The devising of foolish is a sin, and the scoff is an abomination to men. If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. Deliver those who are drawn toward death, 
and hold back those stumbling to the slaughter. If you say, Surely we did not know this, is it not he who weighs the hearts consider it? He who keeps your soul, does he not know it? And will you not render to each man according to his deeds? My son, eat honey because it is good, and the honeycomb which is sweet to your taste, so shall the knowledge of wisdom be to your soul. You have found it, there is a prospect, hope will not be cut off. Do not lie in wait, a wicked man, against the dwelling of the righteousness. Do not plunder his resting place. For a righteous man may fall seven times and rise again, but the wicked shall fall by calamity. Do not rejoice when your enemy falls. Do not let your heart be glad when he stumbles, lest the Lord see it and displeases him. And he turn away from his wrath from him. Do not fret because of evildoers, nor be envious of the wicked, for there will be no prospect for the evil man. The lamp of the wicked will be put out. My son, fear the Lord and the king. Do not associate with those given to change, for their calamity will rise suddenly. And who knows the ruin those two can bring? These things also belong to the wise. It's not good to show partiality in judgment. He who says to the wicked, you are righteous. Him the people will curse, nation will abhor, nations will abhor him. But those who rebuke the wicked will have delight, and a good blessing will come upon them. He who gives a right answer kisses the lips. Prepare your outside work, make it fit for yourself in the field, and afterward build your house. Do not be a witness against your neighbor without a cause. For would you deceive with your lips? Do not say, I will do to him just as he has done to me. I will render to the man according to his work. I went by the field of the lazy man, and by the vineyard of the man devoid of understanding. And there it was, over all overgrown with thorns. His surface was covered with nettles. His stone wall was broken down. When I saw it, I considered it well. I looked on it and received instruction. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. So shall your power become like a prowler, and your need like an armed man. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 15, verses 10 through 20, key verse 16. When he had called the multitude to himself, he said to them, Hear and understand, not what goes into the mouth defiles a man, but what comes out of the mouth, this defiles a man. His disciples came and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind, leaves the blind. And if the blind leaves the blind, both will fall into a ditch. Then Peter answered and said to him, Explain this parable to us. So Jesus said, Are you also still without understanding? Do you not yet understand that whatever enters the mouth goes into the stomach and is eliminated? But those things which proceed out of the mouth come from the heart and to defile a man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat unwashed hands does not defile a man. Mark chapter 7, verses 14 through 23, key verse 18. When he had called all the multitude to himself, he said to them, Hear me, everyone, and understand, there is nothing that enters a man from outside which can defile him. But the things which come out of him, those are the things that defile a man. If anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. When he entered the house, away from the crowd, the disciples asked him concerning this parable. So he said to them, Are you thus without understanding also? Do you not perceive that whatever enters a man from outside cannot defile him? Because it does not enter his heart, but his stomach is eliminated, thus purifying all foods. And he said, What comes out of a man that defiles a man? For within, out of the heart of men proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lewdness, and evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness, all these things evil, all these evil things come within and defile a man. Romans chapter 1 verses 18 through 32, key verses 21 and 30 through 31. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all God and godliness and unrighteousness of men, who suppress the truth in unrighteousness. Because what may be known of God is manifest in them, for God has shown it to them. For since the creation of the world, His visible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even His eternal power of Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Because although they knew God, they did not glorify Him as God, 
nor were thankful, but become futile in their thoughts, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Professed to be wise, they became fools, and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like corruptible man, and birds and four-footed animals and creeping things. Therefore God also gave them up to uncleanness, and the lust of their hearts to dishonor the bodies among themselves who exchanged the truth of God for the lie, and worship and serve the creature rather than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this reason God gave them up to vile passions, for even their women exchanged the natural use for what is against nature. Likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust for one another, men with men committing what is shameful, and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error which was due. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to the debased mind to do those things which are not fitting, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual morality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil-mindedness, they are worse for us, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, undiscerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who, knowing the righteous judgment of God, that those who practice such things are deserving of death, not only do the same, but also prove of those who practice them. Romans chapter 10, verse 19. But I say that Israel not know. First Moses says, I will provoke you to jealousy by those who are not a nation. I will move you to anger by a foolish nation. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. For we dare not class ourselves or compare ourselves with those who commend themselves, but they measuring themselves by themselves and comparing themselves among themselves are not wise. 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 6 For though I might desire to boast, I will not be a fool, for I will speak the truth. But I refrain, lest anyone should think of me above what he sees me to be, or hears from me. Galatians chapter 3, verse 3 Are you so foolish? Have you begun the Spirit? Are you now being made perfect by the flesh? The book of Titus chapter 1, verse 16 they profess to know God, but in works they deny Him, being abominable, disobedient, and disqualified for every good work. The next show entry, May 5, 2020, 5, 15 p.m. This is Jesus speaking. You simpletons, how much longer must I deal with you? Jesus. You simpletons, how much longer must I deal with you? Jesus. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 22 How long, you simple ones, will you love simplicity? For scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Exodus chapter 10 verse 3 So Moses there and came into Pharaoh and said to him, Thus says the Lord God of the Hebrews, How long will you refuse to humble yourself before me? Let my people go, that they may serve me. Exodus chapter 16, verse 28. And the Lord said to Moses, How long do you refuse to keep my commandments and my laws? Psalm 1, verse 1. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Psalm 94, verse 8. Understand you senseless among the people. And you fools, when will you, when will you be wise? Proverbs chapter 1, verses 4 and 7. 21, 22, 29, and 32. We give prudence, the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. She cries out in the chief concourses. At the opening of the gates in the city, she speaks her words. How long, you simply ones, will you love simplicity? For scorn is a light and their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Because they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. 
for the turning away of the simple will slay them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 34. Surely he scorns the scornful, but gives grace to the humble. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 12. And say, I have hated instruction, and on my heart despised correction. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 9. How long will you slumber, O sluggard? When will you rise from your sleep? Proverbs chapter 7, verse 7. And saw among the simple, I perceived among the youths, a young man devoid of understanding. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 5. O you simple ones, understand prudence, and you fools, be of, a, be of an understanding heart. Proverbs chapter 9, verses 4 through 6, and 16 through 18. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. As for him who lacks understanding, she says to him, Come eat of my bread, and drink of the wine I've mixed. Forsake foolishness, and live, and go in the way of understanding. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. And as for him who lacks understanding, she says to him, Stolen water is sweet, and bread eaten in secret is pleasant. But he does not know that the dead are there, that her guests are in the depths of hell. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 6. A scoffer seeks wisdom and does not find it, but knowledge is easy to him who understands. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 12. A scoffer does not love one who corrects him, nor will he go to the wise. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 24. A proud and haughty man, scoffer is his name. He acts with arrogant pride. Proverbs chapter 22. Verse 3. A prudent man foresees evil and hides himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 4, verse 14. O Jerusalem, wash your heart from wickedness, that you may be saved. How long shall your evil thoughts lodge within you? Jeremiah, chapter 13, verse 27. I have seen your adulteries and your lustful neighings, the lewdness of your haughtry, your abominations on the hills and the fields. Woe to you, O Jerusalem! Will you still not be made clean? Finally, the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 20. For everyone practicing evil hates the light, and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. Okay, folks and family, the Spotify worship song I have for you is by Chris McClarty featuring Holland. I'm listening, the live version. I'm listening, the live version featuring Chris McClarty featuring Holland. And I'll post a link for that in the description box below, as well as the YouTube video link you see listed here as well. Okay, folks and family, that's the word for today, part one. For May 6, 2020, once again, the word for day, part one. May 6, 2020. Today is Thursday, August 20th, 2020. 1025 a.m. in the morning is the Dream and Extra Prophet coming to you from Ocala, Florida, my apartment bedroom once again. God bless you all as you go about your day today. God loves you and so do I very much. Take care of yourselves. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon, sooner than you think. Get ready. This is your day of salvation. This is your day to repent of all your sins today. This is your day of redeeming yourself, your decision day. Judgment is at hand. And yet judgment's already come, and there's more judgment coming. Get ready. Get ready. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Brace yourself. Be ready. Remember, Jesus Christ is coming very, very soon. I love you all very much. Stay tuned for part two of this video after this ends. And I will see you very soon if the Lord wills it so. Bye-bye for now. I love you. Take care.